I think this is really important is that uh, in Doncaster we've got a good track record of writing plans and of having uh, plans that are approved um, but we need to get better at implementing those plans and we believe that one of the ways to do that is to connect with people and to connect with more people than are involved in just writing a plan so the innovation is uh, really crucial for us in that I think it's the way that we can help unlock the creativity that uh, is within Doncaster to help with this challenge. It's really refreshing today to see so many people actually talking about identifying the same challenges and actually the same positive steps forward. So I'm really looking forward to bringing the community dynamic to the professionals around the table to try and build to this, this challenge of a health and social care system for the people of Doncaster. Many, many organisations are sitting in individual silos. They will focus on their needs, not on the holistic need of the end customer. And so creating a joined up solution for customers requires everybody to participate at all levels. And that inclusive nature is what creates the most innovative and most successful solutions to meet customers' needs. It was lovely to feel that kind of inquiring minds and those people starting to challenge or, or learn about what they do. And I, I certainly heard lots of people go, oh, we don't really do that. Or, oh, I recognise that situation you've just described of what you were trying to get past or that challenge or that blockage. It just made me think whether we put enough um, effort into uh, understanding what our values and principles are around what we, what we want to achieve as, as well as the task in hand. So I think we can take a lot of that back into our everyday work about how we get staff and our partners engaged in the core principles and values of what we're trying to do. From a leadership perspective, one thing that it, it has taught me, which it really has been discussed throughout the, over the two days, is about you can fail and still end up making a good job of it. some interesting discussion around innovation and how you might begin to develop a more innovative culture in an organisation. So small steps, so more measurable steps is perhaps one thing that can be done. Uh, and also about bringing people together, so perhaps having focus on the goal and having clarity of that goal, very important, and understanding why being innovative and doing different things and seeking those ideas from outside the organisation um, might be important to help make that strategic step. Innovation is the, in the eye of the beholder. Some things came through in the panel that are close to my heart um, um, and that um, I think will drive real change. And some of those were that you know we need to keep customers at the heart of driving innovation and change. I think before I was quite naive in terms of the range of people that would have been involved in the range of organisations. I think what we've realised as a group uh, is that there's absolutely tons of stuff happening out there. Uh, we just need to know what it is uh, and perhaps bring it to uh, together a bit better, coordinate it a bit better and will provide a better service for everyone as a result. What I'm seeing is people putting their heads together and coming up with really strong collaborative ideas that are really going to make shifts. So I've been really impressed with how practical the ideas are, how doable they are, how scalable potentially, that these are things that could happen all over the country. Um, and I've been really blown away by the level of ambition. You know, genuinely, um, I think, you know, if you asked the question in four weeks' time, did you actually feel like you made a difference and did you make a difference? Um, I feel, yeah, I think we did. Um, and I think it's the start of something really, really good for Doncaster today. So I'm really looking forward to the future. Mm -hmm.